Hello, I am Matt, and welcome to Matt. Well, first of all, welcome to Retro Wednesdays, which is just like it sounds. Retro Wednesdays, meaning uh, it'll be me playing classic retro games. Uh, and what is you know what is retro? What do you term? How do you limit what is technically retro? Well, in my mind, retro means 8-bit, 16-bit, and 32-bit, uh, meaning from the original 8-bit Nintendo up to the 16-bit Super Nintendo all the way up to the 32-bit PlayStation. Uh, now, I don't want to go above 32-bit on this retro series. Um, so no PlayStation 2, no Xbox, no Xbox, no Xbox 360, you know, I guess there's some games you could consider from the Xbox you could consider retro, I guess. Um, but I'm talking really, really retro. Um, so retro Tuesdays. I'm sorry, Wednesdays. Retro Wednesdays. Now, I had a difficult time trying to decide which game to play for Retro Wednesdays. I, I originally thought about um, the original Metal, the, not the original, the first Metal Gear Solid game, and I still might do that. Um, but but I went through a lot of different ideas: Metal Gear Solid, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, Super Castlevania Four, any of the Castlevania games really that came out in the thir- in the 32-bit, 16-bit, or 8-bit era. Um, but finally I decided on Final Fantasy IV. I know it says Final Fantasy II, um, but actually when it was released, when Final Fantasy IV was released here in America, it was actually released under the name Final Fantasy II because of the fact that um, Square did not release Final Fantasy II or three over here in America. So when four came out, it was labeled as Final Fantasy II. Now... Why start with Final Fantasy IV? Why not go back to Final Fantasy I? Well, I could, but I think the series really started to hit its stride in Final Fantasy IV. I like Final Fantasy I, II, and III. Uh, I really do. I think they're great games. But I think IV was when the series really started hitting its 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 stride. And you'll see why when we play uh, Final Fantasy IV, and then up through Final Fantasy IX, I think this, or, well, dang, I like X. Up through Final Fantasy X, I think the series has been really on, was really on a roll. Uh, so, anyway, enough jabbering. I, uh, I'm, I'm playing on an emulator, obviously, but my Final Fantasy II cartridge is somewhere around here. I'm not sure where. Um, but let's do it! Love that music. Now, Final Fantasy IV, the thing I love about it, it takes you right into the action. No time for messing around. And in fact, because I was watching the game trailer as a retrospective about Final Fantasy, that was one of the reasons I thought about maybe playing some old retro FF titles. Now, ultimately, by putting the limit of 32 bit. Oh. Cecil? One of my favorite Final Fantasy uh, protagonists. Yeah. <laughs> and you'll see why that is as, as we move on. Give us the crystal of water. Great Uematsu score in this too, by the way. Take it by force. Get out of here. Mm, Doubt from Cecil.
monsters. They don't have much control over what goes on here. Um, basically, the AI takes control of it. Get my camera pop. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll talk over this. You guys can see what's going on. Uh, I love Final Fantasy IV. It's it's one of my favorites of, of the whole series. Um, like I said, I like Final Fantasy one and two and three. But I feel like 4 is where the series really started to hit its stride, because at this point, it's on the Super Nintendo. Um, which means Square has access to a lot more resources. It can make the game so much bigger than the first two, or I'm sorry, the first three. Um. Yeah, so I think... Uh, Characters like Cloud and Squall, they definitely owe a bit of a debt to characters like Cecil and uh, Terra. Those kind of characters who were sort of, you know, because like I said, you know, in the earlier Final, in the first three or so Final Fantasies, I mean, it was pretty simplistic storytelling. But Four is where they really started to get into that sort of morally complex gray areas that are so big nowadays in Final Fantasy. Now, I have played Final Fantasy 4, of course. I played all the Final Fantasy games. Um, but I haven't played it in a really, really, really long time. Say, uh, gosh, I don't even know. Probably maybe ten years since I've played it. I love this Cecil's turn here. It just what? See, I love this. I love the idea that Cecil is this sort of conflicted, and that's the thing, conflicted. Characters in Final Fantasy now are very conflicted. They are often put into situations that they don't really understand and don't want to be in. And with Cecil, he was really sort of the, the start of that whole idea. And, you know, here we see Cecil, he's very conflicted. Oh, Kane, I love Kane. Uh, Cecil is a very conflicted character. He finds himself you know, really going against everything that he, I mean, he believes in the Red Wings, and he believes in the, in the, the King, but it's starting to really wear on him, which I think is, you know, for the time, you know, when, when this came out, I mean, on the Super Nintendo, there were no games like this that had these conflicted characters, so I love that. Alright. Thank you, Kane. Now, we gotta go to our room, which... If we try to go out the main door, we can't get out there. So I think we can go up this way, though. Yeah. Oh, Rosa. Love Rosa. You know, there's always talk about Final Fantasy VII being remade, you know, with modern-day graphics and stuff, especially because of that tech demo. Um, but I'd love to see Final Fantasy IV get a remake, too. <clears throat> Keep all the stuff that we love. Oh, Sid, here comes Sid.
Alright. Yep, we're leaving early tomorrow morning. Me and Kane off for adventure. Let's take a nap. Go to bed. I'm tired. I'm tired of this. Seriously, a great score from Uematsu in this one. I love that. I love that line. Still, I'm just a dark knight. Poor Cecil. <laughs> love Uematsu's score in this. It's so good. It's one of his best. on the anthem. I mean, I, I, I love this series so much. It's it's one of my favorite series in the entire medium of gaming. Dark Knight Cecil. I mean, I love Cecil, man. He's just so cool. That's like I said, I'd love to see a remake. I know there was a remake on the DS, and that there was a Steam remake recently, I believe. I didn't, I didn't play it, actually. Or was it... Was it 4 that they remade? I can't remember. There's something. I don't remember exactly. I'd like to see a big Final Fantasy collection come to scene that has all of them. Within reason. Like, up to 10. You can get Final Fantasy 7 and 8 on Steam, and you can get 12, I'm sorry, 13, not 12, you can get 13, 13, 2, and uh, Lightning Returns, but you can't get 9, and you can't get 10, I'm not sure why that is. I'd love to see all of them come to Steam, really. I'd love to see 1, 2, 3, 4. I'd love to see all the mainline series come to Steam that's not on Steam yet. Oh, this is good. Hang on. No, not this way. Over here. Right here. <laughs> Shake it. <laughs> oh boy, I love that. It's so cool. Alright. Our objective is this away. In the 
Ooh, Misty Cave. Ooh, spooky. Spooky caves. Oh no. Larva. Oh. Yes. This is, uh... Actually coming up on one of my favorite moments in the whole game here. Leave now! We're not leaving! Of course. Yes. Deliver the package. Oh no! We're gonna use jump. Oh, love the boss music in this one. Now, you have to be careful, because... Yeah, turned into mist. Don't want to attack when it's turned into mist. Sort of like the scorpion fight from uh, Final Fantasy VII. If you remember when you blow up the first reactor and you fight the big red scorpion, the robot scorpion, when it raises its tail up, you don't attack it. Because it'll do some crazy attack that messes you up. Now it's... I love I love watching the uh, orchestrations of the old music too on YouTube. I love going on YouTube and watching that where they reorchestrate all the old the old tunes. It's really cool. Why don't we get another attack in here? I'm always nervous about committing to an attack. Oh, that's it. Alright. Now, this has got to be one of the most amazing moments in any Final Fantasy game ever, right here. Oh, I don't like this part. I don't like having to do this. Uh. 
I know it's like super short, I just don't like having to hit her. <laughs> All right. Well, that seems like a pretty good place to uh, stop here. Um, we've accomplished quite a bit, and this only this is just the beginning, guys. This is one of my favorite games ever. Like I said, I haven't played it in about ten or so years, but um, it's just one of my most cherished, treasured games ever. And I can't wait to keep playing it and. It's Wednesday as I'm recording, so I'll be uploading today. Uh, but I really can't wait to keep going with this. And like I said, it's just the beginning. This is just the beginning. It gets it gets even more incredible after this. So until next time, I've been Matt. This has been Final Fantasy IV, <laughs> and we'll see you in the next one.